Yes, Sukha means parrot. But he's not known for just parroting what Vyas told him. Hmm? But the other characteristic of the parrot is said to be that by tasting the fruit, it becomes sweeter. Hmm? Sweeter. Something more. Hmm? This is the idea. Hmm? Ongoing. Hmm? In such a way that it that that it can consume us entirely. Hmm? Hmm? So, is a great uh, contribution the Bhagavad and and the stories there we to understand them to discuss them. This is is something we can sit forever and, and, and try to plumb the depths of the ocean of the Bhagavatam's attempt to 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 do to, to, to justice to its to its to its subject. Hmm? This is the, what we've come together for. Hmm? Hmm? Yas again speaking with some urgency, this can consume you in a, in a way that you will be uh, fully satisfied. It will completely exhaust your sensual, mental, and intellectual capacity, and the and self will come to the surface and with all its potential. So you're lucky. To have this. I'm lucky to have all of you. Good company, association, earnestness, interest to come in the forest. Mm -hmm. out here like some uncivilized people mm -hmm. sitting around the fire or so forth. <laughs> where are we in relation to the developed world mm -hmm. where is Vrindavan <laughs> in relation to the developed world this is the whole point this isn't just a village of cow people mm -hmm. underdeveloped undereducated they just know what they need to know to be perfectly happy. Hmm? And that's what they personify, the Brudge leader. Perfectly happy. Hmm? Perfectly happy. In 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 their in in even in their distress, perfectly happy, isn't it? Hmm? Even in even in their separation from Krishna. Hmm? And here? Perfectly unhappy. <laughs> Perfectly unhappy. No matter how you do justice. See it move a little bit one way or the other. It's never quite right. So we have a great opportunity to gather like this. I'd like to say I consider myself fortunate to be in such company hmm, where these topics come can come to the fore. Are there any contributions from others, thoughts? Questions? Yes, Subhan. I don't know if now's a good time, but uh, I've always been really, really charmed by the Rudder Mandiri. And then when you said today about yeah. the Rudder Mandiri being the combination of the three deities of Vrindavan and just the relation of that, it, it really sparked my mind. If you could elaborate. Well, <laughs> well that's it. We were explaining how Prahlad Maharaj was absorbed in thoughts of Krishna. And while absorbed in thoughts of Krishna, Krishna, clever as he is, in the form of Narasimha, appeared to deal with Hiranyakasipu who thought he had beat the system hmm? by negotiating with Brahma that he wouldn't die at night or the day or the, uh, from a man or an animal or by any weapon and so on and so forth. Hmm? So Krishna is very clever. He, of course, obviously is able to demonstrate in this form of medicine that you can't beat the system like this. You can't think your way into, into immortality. It's not possible. 
These are intellect, mind, body. These are not, they don't have any, they're counterfeit. They don't have any real currency for purchasing land, a house in a land where there's no death. Hmm? No. Hmm? E e even if you even if you could get a passport, Atmaram, hmm? and know the self, which is possible, even without bhakti, you could have an Atmaram. Hmm? Sanatana Goswami makes the point in Bhagavatam, he says, but who cares? It's such a small thing anyway. Hmm? He says, more or less, what good's a passport? Without a visa. <laughs> you went to all the trouble to get a passport, but don't you know, you need a visa too? Just because you have a passport, does that mean you'll get a visa? No. Hmm. You went to there, we need the grace. That is a passport means, I'm not this buddy. Visa means, that's another thing. You had a good sadhu. <laughs> Took you to the consulate and said, give him a, give him a visa. Huh. Hmm. Give him a visa. From Navadweep, we're saying. He's got this he's okay from Gore he's coming from Gore side. Let him in. Hmm? Let her go. Give her a visa. Hmm? So anyway, right, Prahlad was meditating upon Krishna and Narasimha appeared. And Gopal Bhatta Goswami was meditating on Narasimha and Krishna appeared. So Narasimha is a certain form of Krishna and that Incident is the one you're referring to, where Gopal Bhatta was meditating on the Shringa Leela and desiring to have a, f a form of the deity that he could do Shringar to, dress and decorate and so forth, as opposed to the Shila, which doesn't lend itself to that. Meditating on, on, the, on this, the Shringa Chaturdasi, which is tomorrow, mm -hmm. very intensely, and he woke up in the morning and the Shila had turned into a deity, a stone. Radharaman in his hip, this, right, one side of this, like the, if you take a circle and like this, this is his shoulder, this is his hip, hmm? in a beautiful form of Krishna. Very refined features, only 12 inches. He said it's impossible to, to carve such a small figure in such detail, out of stone in such detail. Hmm? Many ways to talk about it, but we just take Gopal Bhatta's <laughs> testimony. Hmm? And the amazement of the Goswamis, who, for example, had established Madan Mohan, Sambandha, Govinda Dev, Abhidev, and Gopinath the Prayojan. It is said that after Krishna departed, his grandson was left, and so they wanted to make a deity of Krishna. And so the, the deity was made and the grandson was brought in and, and said, well, does this look like him? Hmm? And he said, up to the waist. So I said, okay, try again. Hmm? Again, the carver came, made a second deity. He said, that's really good from the waist up to the neck. Again, another one, third try. He said, oh, the head is perfect. Hmm? This means sambandha, the legs of the, the stand on, the conceptual orientation. Arms means the abhideya, the way to put that conceptual orientation into action. Bhakti and prayojan means the fruit, the smiling face of Krishna. These are the, what the subject, the, the, what the sacred texts are divided into, these three subjects. But when these Goswamis each you had the three different deities that had come under their care, hmm, um, Swarada Raman, Gopal Goswami's, Gopal Bhatta Goswami's deity, they said, oh, he's, he's got all three in one. Hmm? All three in one. He is the answer to the, the promise of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who told you, Gopal Bhatta as a young boy in the south, take care of your parents until they retire, and then go to Vrindavan, and I'll, you'll meet me again there. Hmm? He met him, met him again, and he sent him in a dream to the Gandaki in Nepal, where he got the Shilas to his amazement, and he brought them back. And then his, in his contemplation, sincerely on, on the Shringa Chaturthi, the, the deity manifest. Hmm? So this is called Radha Raman. Hmm? Although Radha's not there, Raman is there. Hmm? But they considered, oh, this is... 
he is he is Radha and he's Radha is there by name, by Nam, Radha Nam she is there. And in form. Krishna's there. In form is there. And in name she is there. So they have a little place for her. Maybe shoes or something like that. She's there in the name. So the deity has a name. The name is Radha Raman. You're looking, you see only Raman. But you can't be Raman without Radha without with Radha. Without Radha. Hmm? This is the point, right? Hmm? And they three reasoned that as probably just to say, Krishna standing alone is not so beautiful, but standing next to Radha, then he's very charming. So when they were so charmed by the form of Radha Raman, of Raman they knew, oh, Radha's here. <laughs> we have to call him Radha Raman. Hmm? Otherwise, how could we could be so charmed? Hmm? And then, of course, the theological reasoning goes further and, and, and says what? Hmm? This deity is Radha Raman, is Radha and Krishna. Yes, he's in a dark form as Krishna, but he's Radha Raman. And who is Radha and Krishna combined? That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who said he'd come again and give you his darshan and Vrindavan. So it was fulfilled in the form of this uh, the prophecy or the promise fulfilled hmm, by uh, Krishna's appearing as as Radha Ramanji Kijai Kijai